but uh, oh, that was one. we don't like noises like that. Ooh, okay. What does Kirk Herbstreit say about the game? Does he think we can win? No. And there's probably good reason for that. Kirk is a smart man. So it makes sense that he would be... ...against us. We are the home team. Hoping to just start to reel the season back in. At this point, uh... Five wins is kind of my goal. And if we get that... If we can get that six and go to a bowl game, that would be huge in the first season, but uh, right now we're kind of just trying to make it through, get some good recruits and look for towards the future. This is a building year. It's not a rebuilding year because we're brand new. But uh, we got a bunch of recruits coming this week. Um, we got a running back, tackle, and a guard. All three stars. Uh, we've got to rush for a lot. We're going to just try to fill those goals. That's going to be our main priority besides the win. As Herb Carlton and Heath Barber, I think those are their names, are out. Um, Glad to uh, I rushed for 100 yards. Bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Ashford, two, Football 14 pregame show. Not easy. Not too difficult. Uh, I, I have faith that we can get this in this one against and Alex and NMSU. Yeah. So long as we're not throwing too many picks, we'll be fine. Uh, well, we're gonna, normally we kick, but today we're going to uh, we're going to take the ball first. We're going to start it on the ground. The offense gets ready to take their first it's a safe bet. Straight to Kerry Nance. Decent five yards in the first play of the game. And not upset with that. And uh, since it's working Second well, five coming up here. put it on the ground. On We got the block, we got the corner. <laughs> we make a man miss. Kerry Nance, one of the best runs of his career. 24 yards, that's a big, big boost towards getting those, those goals. And now we're gonna go to the air on a play action, first down, near midfield. Buster. With the great grab. Really hoping that that linebacker wouldn't jump it over the middle. Oh, we got lucky. We lobbed it, gave him a little bit more time. And yeah, enough separation to make an easy catch. For another first down. Getting close to the red zone on our first drive of the game. This Tolbert is going to keep the ball and slide down for a good first down, down game. Seven yards. Hurry up, just put a little bit extra pressure on him. We're on the counter of the offensive way this time. The quicker we get that ball off, the better we get the blocks again. Kerry Nance, he has the first down, it stumbles backwards and loses a couple yards. Still five yards on the play. So 34 on this first drive alone. Let's see if we can hit someone like right at that front pile on. <laughs> He's open, didn't get quite deep enough, but... So we got first and goal inside the five. It's just a great to start to the, the drive so far. Two of two passing. Slightly risky plays. I don't like this. Uh, audible to a quick pass. As they bring some pressure, 
buster wide open over the middle. Well, not wide open, but open enough over the middle for a touchdown. Solid yardage on a good drive down the field to take an early lead as they come back quickly and just run it down their throats. I don't think either team has to tie it up at seven. So far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. We're gonna keep it on the read. Slide down for four yards on first down. If we can get four yards in the play, I'm more than happy. Um, we haven't run any crazy deep shots downfield. We're not going to start it yet. From their own, can't go with the halfback toss. It's second down. See if we can pick up a key block on the outside, which we just barely, kind of, got. The carries got the way to the ground. So far, solid rushing game. Not what we're used to seeing. Gonna go with the play action again. We're not really bringing pressure. And <laughs> Derek Battle. You had to do that, Timmy, man. Wide open with another first down, and you drop it. Second and ten. We're gonna do the uh, halfback dive again. From their own 35-yard line. So I'm pretty sure it's going to the halfback. I always get a little bit worried about these plays. Oh, a great run on second down. This is a very manageable third in potentially four-down territory. I'm not gonna guarantee that, but uh, this is the kind of the spot on the field where I would think about it. If we get positive yardage here, at least two yards, which we're going to have. We got the corner. We got the first down. We even kind of juked the man out with that slow step. He didn't think Tolbert could move as that poorly. Just keep going back to this read. We might have um, Deontay Osborne come in. We're going to keep running these reads just for a little bit of extra speed around the corner. Because um, so far it seems like we're having some success running. Which is damn near rare for us. I'm going to have Heath Barber run on this inside route. And Salier. With a great catch over the middle. I think we're three of four. Just a smartly with our only uh, incompletion being you know, dropped. Four of five, 61 yards in the touchdown. And that's a great that. start. We're going to go back to the We've air here on first down. Try to get inside the red zone on this play. I'm looking for carry. This is a route that tends to be open, and again it is. And that's another first down inside your 10. Down the six. Maybe the seven. We're going to put it straight on the ground here. Waste no time doing that. You know what, let's go with the triple option. And this is the ninth we haven't shown him that look yet. The reads are there, but they just brought too much pressure. Thankfully, we lose no yardage. Um, this is a tough spot. Uh, but we're going to go with the halfback toss. It worked pretty well for us earlier. So long as we can get a block on the corner. Send the tight end over for an extra blocker. And the wide out just whiffs on his man. I think the corner is the toughest position to play in Not helpful for us. You have to be athletic enough to be able to run with wide receivers and willing to be able to come up and make plays like this to be able to We're stuck in a tough third and goal. I did not pick the play that I wanted. To be able to come up and be physical in the run game. They'll be looking for the end zone here. Third and goal from the nine. We can do some audibles here. See if anyone's going to get open. I think Sailor's going to be. Oh, oh, Espinosa, I mean. Buster Espinosa on the turnaround. Got the timing correct. And just had that much separation. Put a 6 to 7 with two touchdowns. You know, this guy Only incompletion is a wide open drop from Derek really Battle. 
as we go up with two scores and uh, New Mexico State scores their second one is time expires in the first into the second quarter we're going to start with another run Get a decent three yards so there on first down. On the option keeper. And that was the freshman linebacker who was right there to make the play. We're going to try this toss play again, see if we can hit the corner. From their own, see, Kerry Nance is still in. Ooh. Second down. Not sure how I'm feeling about this one. We got the corner. Oh, great block from the wide out that time. It's exactly what we, did, what we didn't have down in the red zone. We had at that time. Nance already has 60 yards rushing. I know Tolbert has a couple. We're gonna get with the long bomb here. See if we can catch him off guard. We haven't we haven't thrown a vert yet. Quadex and Espinoza should have some success out there. Or Salier. Oh, it gets picked off as the DB makes a weird adjustment and just edges him out. Damn. Again, I just kind of underthrew it a little bit. Look at that, all that separation, but because he had to stop for the ball, the DB was able to make the right play on it, and they're going to take a three-point lead. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Yeah, he just got in front of it enough. But we run it up the middle for some success on first down. We're going to continue to work on getting those 100 rushing yards. All three of our uh, recruits who are here for the game visiting have 100 rushing yards as, uh, as a requirement, or as a bonus for their visit. So that would be huge to have successful visits from all three of those guys. Three star players. It's a kind of it's the caliber that we're gonna need if we're gonna continue to move up here in the Mountain West. So we're going to the screen. He's wide open. He's got some blockers, but he just can't quite get to the first down. Well, they didn't need much, so give it up to the defense. We're in a shitty spot on the field, but we're gonna go for it. We're just gonna try to go with the read. That safety on the right side is playing a bit off. But Kerry's going to take it and he just gets fucking stuck. He had a hole just to the right. That block wasn't the way that we needed it. I'm assuming they're going to score a quick touchdown. Should give us plenty of time to score here. Make it three points before the half. Let's see what they do this afternoon. I can have Buster actually coming on this. Yeah. Not a huge fan of that right now. Now they get the football back. Let's see how they can Heath do. makes a great catch. He's hit and taken down. Not the greatest pass, but a really, really good play by the receiver to bail out his quarterback. Go into the hurry up here. Since we're a little low on time. This time around, I'm going to be looking for Buster cutting across the field. Or oh, we're just going to get sacked. That's such a classic move for me right now. Let's get sacked after a nice first down and just be stuck with an awful sack. We've got all three timeouts, so that's a positive. And the tight end over the middle, wide open. Makes it right back. Great touch by the quarterback. Flowing that one right into his hand. That takes some skill. We're gonna stick with the four forwards again. <laughs> See if we get something out of this. No, I'm actually gonna send carry out. On the route of his own. And the tight end again is open, but he's not able to hold on to it. Put it just a little bit too high for him. Stops the clock. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 45. This little blocking. I feel like they're coming with pressure here, and they are. I'm just gonna find a man. <laughs> Gotta find a man, but they also have to pass it to the right spot. So pass like that's not gonna help us. But still third down. We're gonna go back to the birds. Hoping for the best. And Salier could have this. He does. <laughs> oh, he had a, a little bit of weird separation with his 
his DB there. That's that almost got swatted. And you're just able to step in front, get us down to the 11 yard line. With plenty of time to work. And an option for a first down if we get stuffed at the goal line. So we're gonna put this one on the ground. We got a block, and he sheds it. He gets out oh. to that's unfortunate. If I'm told Bear, I'm a little bit upset about that. See if we can uh, hit Derek Battle in the corner of the end zone. Actually, we're going to dump it off to Ramsey, the B, the Beaster, for a third touchdown of the half. And hopefully, we don't leave too much time on the clock for New Mexico to score. Uh, they got a field goal and then another one at the start of the half since they got the ball. There's gotta be some sense um, we are the offensive coordinator, so right we are only a lot of way until right we get back in the game. So that head coaching position, set. and I should and just try to run north and south. That's a loss of two yards on the play. I tried to stretch that one out and got blown up in the backfield. So we're going to have to go back to the air here on 2nd and 12. And I like Heath going over the middle. I'm going to have Terrell play a little pass D for us again as they bring pressure again. And Buster with the big grab, but he steps out of bounds. Oh, his man fell on the ground going for some weird tackle. And he was free to get at least another 10 yards out of that, but that's fine. So we get our first and 10. We're going to run the read and bring it down to midfield. And we cross into their territory. He gets it out to about the 47 yard line. Another 12 yards added. Carry alone has 73. Which is going to be great. And now that we've run a play, they're going to be a little confused. We got Carry coming to run block. A little bit of extra protection. And I'm trying Buster again. Deep. And he <laughs> he pulls it in for the touchdown. His third of the game. Toll Bears fourth. A huge pass play on first down. And he's just uh, making plays for us today. Because we're still down two. But we're holding them to field goals, which is great for us. Really great. The offense will be hoping they can as long as we can as continue well as to on their last drive. score touchdowns. It's only a five-point really game. We run the toss play. We've got the corner. We had a block. We shook a man. Carry with another right huge run. He's still going. And he's <laughs> 30 yards. This might be Carry's first 100-yard rushing game. Gonna put it back First on the ground. The if it ain't broke, run. don't fix it. As Terrell comes in. And they want Toll Bear to run it. Gets to about we get three the yards on first down, which isn't great. It's not terrible either. It's positive yardage. Toll Bear has 21 rushing yards of his own, so that is all positive. We're gonna go with the fullback angle here. I like the route, so it doesn't matter if it's the fullback or the running back running it. So, uh, Bo Ramsey, they're bringing pressure here. He is open, but I just I make a bad throw. I tried to force that. The linebacker is able to stop it. Um, I like the idea of going for it on fourth here. We're definitely outside field goal range. And I don't feel confident getting it in the air in one play. The counter, we have blockers. The so Frazier's getting tripped up on him. Oh, he should have had a, at least 10, 15 yards out of that play, if not a touchdown. It worked so well. But we're going to go with the toss play, do him to the other side. The quicker we get this off, the better we are going to look. We have a block on the outside. And Frazier's just barely able to outrun that man. If you would have dove, you would have had the tackle. And had the stuff. We're going to take it into the fourth quarter. Almost inside the red zone. With a chance to take a, a late lead in this game. Hang on tight, folks. We head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker. So the Aggies lead is five. And uh, we're going to come out with a play action. 
pass. See if we can't just slot this one in. And have Buster will come across the other direction on the field. Who knows, maybe we get a pick play. And Salier, oh, he gets his route jumped. And we throw our second pick of the game in the fourth down, or in the fourth quarter. It's not a good spot to do that. Uh, we can only hope that we've, we do finally make a stop. And we've got decent field position. But that's a spot where we wanted yard. We wanted points. we got to drive a lot of those yards back again. We're not getting them on that. We didn't quite get the block that we wanted. We're going to run the shakes. Seems to work out a lot. We've got decent route running out of our guys from the past. I'm looking at Heath Barber or Buster Espinoza on the right. Espinoza's going to be wide open. Or Barber's going to be wide open. He grabs 31 yards on that play. We've got 250 yards passing. That that might be both of our bonuses if we can just continue to gain positive yardage throughout the rest of the game. And I'm not sure, but there's a possibility that it could take a lot of time off the clock. Uh, but scoring quick, I think, is our best option here. As Terrell gets four yards on first down. We're going to go into the hurry up. Since we're playing from behind, we want as much time to work with. And Quad X. And the dump off gives us third and one. I'm just gonna put this one up the middle here. And Terrell has the first down. That was a really close run. They almost had a stop there. We probably that's a nice conversion here on third down. We probably would have gone for it. We're gonna go with the counter here. We got a block and positive yardage on first down again. But we need to get in the end zone real soon. It looks like Frazier might have been injured on that play, which would be our second running back. From the 18 yard line. Second Not of down. the game, but that we've been using. Yeah, Bo Ramsey's come out, so. Um, I don't like that at all. As I almost throw a pick. Yeah. Not good. We've been breaking our ribs. Terrell Frazier's going to come back in soon, but we're just going to say, nah, you're coming in now. It's a, I didn't even read what it said. A strained calf, so it. I'm not worry about that. You're gonna be Wilson fine, dude. On the play. Um, I'd like to run a short little slant route. So we're looking Slants at works for that. Here. And uh, we're in four down territory right here. I'm gonna have Quad X actually join in on those weird slants. And he's open. Quad X inside the ten, down to the seven. Gives us first and goal. Great time to pound it up the middle, I think. With Bo. Oh! You kind of stacked the box. And yeah. I should have audibled out of that one, but I was hopeful that we were going to pick up at least one, one other guy there. As we're going to go back to that slant route and have Quadex come back across. Looks like they want to bring pressure. And they do, and <laughs> I drop the ball, I get obliterated. That was a lot quicker than I expected it to be. Props to them for bringing that one through. And forcing the fumble. Gives us third and goal from the 13. That is tough. Just under four minutes left in the game. See if somebody can get open here. As I threw a risky one up there, but I'm going to see if a field goal doesn't really do us a whole lot. But I guess coach is going to take it, and we make a stop. A field goal here wins it. 
a minute and 19 with no timeouts. The defense did their job. It's time for me to come out and do mine. Gonna have Nance play a little pasty for us. Oh, that's not gonna go far enough, but Heath is wide open. Heath Barber <laughs> makes the huge grab late in the game. We don't have time to uh, to waste here. We go back to the air real quick. We are knocking it on the door, field goal range, just like that. I'm gonna have the answer on the streak, and he's open, and he drops it. Oh, the running back. Does anyone else have team builders? Is that a question to me or? to the world because I don't know of really any that are out there. Um, there's a guy on YouTube, not the expert, he's doing a great series with the UGF Pandas. It's a pretty fun one that you could probably grab. As Lee Blankenship makes a huge grab and puts us inside the 10 with a minute to go. I'm gonna put it on the ground here. GU is us, Gorge University, out in the Columbia River Gorge, uh, about an hour east of Portland as we score on the counter. We're the Sharks, um, pay no attention to our end zone. Uh, there was a weird mistake that the administration hasn't figured out yet, um, and they might say Seals. There was, it was some weird... Um, like it was like a clerical error, basically, so where the the, will stay on the there field, was a vote on the mascot of the school, and like I don't know, this, the, the administration thought that it was going to be sealed, so they just went ahead and signed the paperwork, but then the recount was put in, and oops, it was sharks. They already had it paid for, and we fuck up the two-point conversion. <laughs> we really got to hope for our defense here. They got 55 seconds and three timeouts, and we have no control over it as the offensive coordinators. So we're just going to slow sim it. They're incomplete on first down. And then we give them a, a penalty on second. Second and third. Third and three. Another first down. 30 seconds left. They have a holding. Pass thrown away. Pass complete. Third and one. First and ten with eight seconds left. Five yard penalty against the defense with zero seconds. Is that an untimed down or is the game over? The game's over. I don't know what exactly happened. Yes, yes. Uh, I, can, I have really enjoyed watching them. I don't mind sending people that guy's way. He does like Madden and um, NCAA stuff. But he's got the UGF pandas. It's a pretty entertaining series. Should be a link to the playlist of all of his videos. He's in like the third season of his uh, dynasty. As we come up with a big win to get ourselves closer to a 500 season. Um. Let's look at our stats here. I believe that we got our passing and rushing yardage that we needed for recruits. We had the same amount of first downs. We had a solid 110 yards more on offense than them. Decent passing, but we had uh, two picks. So that's where we ran into trouble. Um, 152 rushing yards and 362 passing yards. So we got our, our two goals for recruits, and uh, that should be good. And no, his his is a team builder, just like mine. So he made it up. He I I'm pretty sure. I don't like I don't know if the school's real or not, but I know he made up the or he made that in team builder. So. Ooh. Feels good to finally get another win after uh, some really bad play 
the past few days. As nothing else really exciting happened around the country. Buster had a great game. 102 yards receiving and three touchdowns. And I'm not sure who we face off next week. We leveled up. We're level five now. Which means our quarterbacks are going to continue to get better. Because I think that's what I'll probably put it into. If not a receiving trait. Um, catching spectacular catch, catching traffic, or better throw. Let's have our receivers get a little bit better first. They seem to be dropping wide open passes, so anything that I can do to help them out might be necessary. We already did recruiting for the week, so we're going to go ahead and uh, we got Fresno State up next. And <laughs> let's hope that we can just continue to just knock them out. For four and six now, if we win the next two, we have a chance to be invited to a bowl. It's not guaranteed. Because playing this game in the past, I have gone six and six and not been invited to a bowl. Which makes sense. We're not a huge market right now. But just being bowl eligible with a 500 win record would be great. Hopefully the those visits that we had from recruits that should um, should be really important. I think we did well enough to just get full bonuses on all of them, and we, we might get a commit if we were lucky enough. A pretty pretty late visits. I just hope that this goes well. Yeah, I know, level 5, it's huge. We're a big deal now. We got... 68 overall right guard committed. That's pretty good. We lost Ralph Riley to Oklahoma. Got a, our left tackle committed. Two new commits in one week. That's pretty solid. And up here at the top, this 70 overall receiver, Laron Edwards, is visiting this week so we're gonna have we're gonna be passing for sure set a school record or Buster Espinosa set a school record we got our classic game this is just a solid week Let's see if we can repeat it that's obviously a home game if we're against Fresno Street straight <laughs> Fresno State but uh, we're gonna see what, what we're looking like on their recruiting front Ooh, that's a lot of boys coming to visit today whole lot of them. That could be that could be some big deals. Get Ralph off our board since he wants to go to Oklahoma. Laron is not currently wanting to come here. Or his third pick with like three thousand points to make up. Let's see. Is he visiting? Yeah, so he's visiting this week. If we win, that's a lot of points that we can make up. Um, Georgia Tech is his first, though, and they're going to get a lot bigger bonus for scheduling later than us, but that's enough to at least put us back in the conversation. Brian Bain is the second highest rated guy on our board, and we can get him. We're actually, he, Fresno State is his lead, so I have faith there. There's no reason not to recruit this corner. He's from a pipeline state. He's only 570 back, so I feel like we can snag him. So maybe, uh, I'm kind of confident about grabbing a lot of these guys. 210 there. Just put it, put full points in. Get all these guys off our board who don't matter. So I don't worry about pumping a lot of points into him. Uh, that's a close lead. But I'm kind of going to hope. We have a lot of close leads on some pretty average players. I did see one guy. 
don't know who it was. That we could put some points into. And now I have no idea who it was that I wanted to get points to. I think it might have been this receiver. I'm pretty sure he's visiting this week. But he's visiting Hawaii after that. Um, and this guy. Someone else was thinking about us. 995, sure. I'll throw points at him. This is the first season. See, I can't talk. Season. Walker. Um, not going terribly. Definitely not going great. Depending on how we close this out, it could end up 